Um, I hoped to do well, but I didn't really think that I would do that well. So yeah, it was a surprise, but a nice surprise, I guess. I expected that I would do well-ish, but I didn't think. I was totally surprised with a lot of the marks. Well, I was really happy. Um, I was surprised with particularly with chemistry, but you know, I was really, really pleased. A little bit. Like, I was very happy with my mark, and I was just happy to do well. Oh, it was... I was... I just... The whole year I never thought about that day, so when it finally came I didn't really know how to feel. I just was really happy that... Because I had put a lot of effort in, so I was happy that I was able to, like, within myself feel that I had given everything I could have to the year and not have any regrets. I thought, in honesty, I would do pretty well, but I think I exceeded my own expectations, so I was very happy. It was a fun year. Like, it wasn't just school, it was fun. Everyone turned 18, we all started driving, so it was good. I enjoyed the subjects I did, bar a couple, um, and, you know, I think when you see the mark, it's pretty much all worth it. I can do well, basically anything I want to do now, which is a gift. I think English, history, or Hebrew. Well, the one I enjoyed the most was biology. Um, and I had a really great teacher, and you know, I, I just really enjoyed found the theory really interesting. It's probably why I went, one of the reasons I went to the medicine. Um, specialist maths was my favorite. Had to be business management last year. I loved it. It was just it was the best subject, and probably PA this year was my favorite. Not really. Just with school, we just did whatever. Played sport, but it was a fun year. That's good. Well, I did a little bit of debating, not much. Volunteered for Friendship Circle once a week, which is work with disabled kids. I volunteered for, I did like the local youth movement, Masibis Shabbos, I was the counsellor there. And also having my sister at home helps a lot. Just someone very supportive, someone to talk to, someone who can understand what I'm going through, and someone who also wants to do well, so it made everything a little bit easier. I was a Matricha Khalida for Chabad Youth, I was a counsellor. So we had weekly meetings and we did programs for the kids and, and we had staff meetings and then we also had functions for them and then and our camp counsellor. I think I'm going to take the year off hopefully, maybe go on IVC for the first five months and then travel afterwards with some of my friends hopefully and then either go to Melbourne or Monash. Go on IVC? Oh, hopefully, yeah. Um, yeah, that's for ten months I think. Yeah. Well, hopefully doing medicine. Um, not sure if I'll do it at Monash or um, with the Chancellor's Scholar as a guaranteed place at Melbourne Uni. This year I hope to go to Yeshiva for a year and after that study medicine. I think I want to do journalism or arts law, so definitely in that area. I plan to take a gap year and travel for next year and then uh, go into uni the year after. Um, use your teachers. Um, work hard because hard work pays off. Make your VC about the effort that you put in. Ensure that because you can control the effort that you put in. So ensure that you put in as much effort that you can and the results is based on other people so you can't control that so just move past results and focus on effort. To stay calm and not get overwhelmed and just focus. I like to always have an aim or a goal, a particular cause, a particular score even, something that can really motivate you and help you through and I find that that helps the most and that's what I did. So I recommend having that, something in sight you can achieve and work towards.